Production. As Steffi said, I'm a designer, and the customers I work with to de develop products, and both in software and hardware, uh, rely on us to sort of set the pace for what they might be doing in the next coming years. And last year, <laughs> Facebook <laughs> renamed themselves Meta, and they changed the conversation. So many of my customers and people I talk to in this industry started asking this question, and I'm sure you guys have read a lot about this. You ask this question, oh, the metaverse, we're all supposed to, is this the new pattern of computing? Is this where it's all going? Are we going to all have to don a sort of new kind of hardware to experience this new model of computing? And as I think about it, I think, you know, I think this story isn't quite where the world is headed. And so I want to talk to you about where I do think it's headed. I think the next model of computing, and it is something we may in fact call the metaverse, I don't really care, but I do think the vision of the metaverse is right in the sense of an ideal computing layer on top of life in the homes that we live in, in the places we work, in the places where we take care of each other. And the question, I guess, besides the fact that Facebook slash meta kind of kicked this conversation off, why is it important to happen now? Well, first of all, something we all understand, computing has taken over every experience. As a designer, there is no way for me to design anything short of a toaster, even maybe then, uh, to be involved in the story of computing. And unfortunately, the pattern of computing has been stretched. A lot of it was designed to be very immersive. We sort of, rather than being here in the room, we might be sitting working very hard at the computer, and we're away from the world. And even the phone, the iPhone, is an extension of that model, right? That pattern of computing was meant to be something to take us from the world. The next pattern needs to really work with the world. And so we can call this, in shorthand, just spatial computing. Now, it's a little hard to sort of fully believe in this. I'm sure a lot of you, unless you're immersed in sort of trying to make it happen, are a bit skeptical. Well, first of all, I want to say, look, the state of the art, you're not going to wear in this room or out with your friends. You'll look ridiculous. Um, but it is advancing very quickly. The ideal form factor is something that you might find yourself wearing day to day. Ina just showed us her softball game uh, where she was wearing something very much like this. But understand, we're at the dev kit stage. In other words, we're getting really close, so it is worth paying attention to. Even last week, and I just added this slide last night because only days ago this was shown, right? So this is a piece of hardware that I'm not quite going to wear around, but it's getting very close. I also want to say that this vision of the, the sort of new metaverse, so this overlay on the world, spatial computing, isn't about one particular piece of hardware. It is involved the the entire computing sphere. So an example is, to make this really clear for you, so much of computing is remote. We're away from what we're concerned about. Here's an industrial example. But the promise is to be able to be on the floor and see the things that are important to us. It's a concept called placefulness, where we take what's digital and we locate it in the world. So if I'm looking for my friends, information, he tells me, oh, I left it on a desk. I left it on my desk. Uh, so I go to his desk, and I, I'm looking. Maybe I'm looking with this hardware, or maybe I'm just looking with my iPhone, and I can see, well, his plants need to be watered, but that's not my problem right now. There's the file I'm looking for. So I can grab it, maybe take it with me, or I can pull it up and take a look at it right now. This is the kind of experience that will happen throughout the world, looking at patients, uh, at a, in a hospital bed, working on the factory floor, trying to repair a car, basically everything. And again, we don't need to be in those spaces, but we can use the concept of space, the world around us, to help us navigate the computer. This is the metaverse I want you to pay attention to and believe is coming and coming quickly. And it's not like we'll all have to experience it like this but it will dramatically change how we can sort of activate the world. We can make the world an interesting part of it. So to me, I'll just leave you with this line. The hope of computing is less about building 
a world inside the computer, and it's really about bringing the computer into our world. Thank you very much. Thank you.